tonight kicks off the annual Holocaust exhibit at St. John's School here in Lawrence. Six News' is Rose Claire is live from the school and has this story. Good evening, Rose. Stephanie, this is the third annual exhibit here at St. John Catholic School. Now, just downstairs right now, a Holocaust survivor's son is speaking about his father. His name is Peter Stern, and his father is 97 years old. Now, what's interesting about Peter Stern's father is that he lost his family to the concentration camps, but then he was able to escape Berlin, and later he joined the Army here in the United States ultimately playing a part in the liberation of one of the concentration camps. Now the exhibit that you see here behind me displays artwork from St. John's eighth grade language arts class. Let's take a look. St. John Catholic School eighth grader Chase Ramirez says he already knew about the Holocaust, but he missed a lot of the details, like Nazi expansion. They learned that more people, so many more people than I thought of, were affected by this. That's why his language arts teacher, Megan Fairchild, spends an entire semester on this subject alone. From the beginning of anti-Semitism all the way up to liberation of the camps and killing centers. For kids, you know, in eighth grade, it's important for them to learn about tolerance and understanding and acceptance. At the end of the semester, the students have two weeks to put the Holocaust exhibit together. The main project I was working on was the liberation of the camps and a doctor who mostly worked on twins in the Holocaust. Known as the Angel of Death, Dr. Joseph Mengele would divide the prisoners in Auschwitz. I was basically left, right, who dies, who lives. He's infamous for performing torture surgeries, particularly on twins. One survivor I researched about remarked that he never used anesthesia when he did surgeries. Ramirez says learning more about the past and researching his part in detail. It changes the way I look at today's genocides, for example, Syria. I know now how horrible it can be. When I see the news today, I just think, how can this mistake keep on happening? Which ultimately helped him better understand the present. And better understanding the present and current events is one of the main points of this Holocaust exhibit here tonight. So with me right now is Erin Doyle, who's another eighth grade student, who will talk a little bit about uh, her work in this Holocaust exhibit, which is understanding the current events. What exactly did you research, Erin? I studied genocide in Rwanda and Sudan. Yeah, and what was your main takeaway about the current events in Rwanda and Sudan as it relates to the Holocaust? Um, how much work we still need to do. We look at what happens when diversity is ignored and we realize that you have to pay attention to people, you have to focus on who they are and you have to, you have to protect them and you have to love them. And that's, I guess that's the takeaway. Great, well thank you so much for that. Now this exhibit will be up until Tuesday. So tonight is the only night you can see it, but you can see it throughout school hours during the day up until then. For Six News, I'm Rose Claire, live at St. John Catholic School. Stephanie. All right, thank you Rose for that. The exhibit is open to the public at St. John's School tonight until 8 p.m.